paradigm shift is happening in the music business. Um, and, and it, and it comes like it or not, you know, um, the, 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 you know, artists that we grew up with took for granted and, 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 been working longer than all of us have been alive are coming up to retirement age, you know? And, and I will say this is that it, in 2015, BB King passed away. I never thought in my lifetime, you could, you could set your watch to two things. The sun will rise and set and there'll be a BB King gig somewhere. Okay. And all of a sudden there's no BB King gig. And there's a lot of the artists of that ilk right now um you know all three of my british guitar heroes are you know on their way to becoming 80 years old and so when you see people like buddy guy bobby rush um you know even even the stones and 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 you know uh, all these people you know i would just say if you're a real fan and always wanted to see them live don't go, I'll catch them next time. Just, it's important that you support the, the, the living legends while we still have them because, because they're, they're human beings as well with finite lifespans. And, and I think you're starting to see this more and more. I mean, like, who would have thought, did you ever think, did you ever see the Rolling Stones without Charlie Watts? Here we are. And, and it's, you know, we're going to see this more and more um, as the decade you know, goes on and just people are just gonna be like, I'm 85 and I'm retiring, you know, you know, it's, I don't think Mick Jagger is going to be out there at 95 years old doing the gig, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. <laughs> I, hope I'm, I hope I'm wrong. Keith will outlive all of us. He will, but will he be doing the gig at 95? I don't know. So go see him, support it because that's, that's really what it's about. And, 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 and it's, it's about paying tribute to people that have fundamentally changed us as, as, as human beings and fundamentally changed the landscape and, and what, what the century sounded like, you know? And, and it's, you know, I was lucky enough to participate in one of Chuck Berry's last days, you know, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. He died a few months later. And was it prime time, Chuck? Absolutely not. Was it Chuck Berry? Absolutely. 